Okay. What is up, everybody? Welcome to uh this year's uh pre-show of the year and wrap up of 2020. Welcome. Um, I know it's a little late this year. We had quite a few technical difficulties. They're all uh, fixed now, so hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, we have a lot of announcements coming today uh, with briefing in uh, second quarter, the other stuff. We have stuff that is getting announced in the first quarter also, which is kind of nuts. Uh, we will see the pre-show, like, two more times to tonight with, um, with, uh, the pre-show after, uh, quarter one, after quarter two, and then we will have the after show afterwards, breaking down everything, letting you guys know when the new, if there's new things. I guess we kind of spoiled that new things will be coming. But we will announce all that at the end of today's, uh, at the end of the, at the end of the Comet year end. Uh, so, with that guys, uh, before we get into it, we, uh, we announced yesterday in media day, well, on Thursday in media day, that we are bringing in three new series to the Inner Army channel. And two new series to the Mature channel. Now, near the two Mature... If you didn't see this, that's why we're bringing this up now. The two new Mature series are Injustice 2 and Battlefield 5. They will be joining the lineup in uh, this upcoming month in September, in Premiere Month. And then, in Air Army, will be welcoming Marvel's Avengers. Lego Worlds and Lego Harry Potter Collection this set this premiere month premiere dates are getting set they are getting ready to roll we can't tell you premiere dates yet but we can tell you premiere dates in the after show we will let you guys know then what will be when you will be able to watch these brand new series when they will be coming and Stay tuned for more and more awesome content coming your way in the next little bit. We don't have much uh, that uh, we have. Well, let's just give you a rundown. What will be in the year end this year? We have the uh, Innator Army Awards for 2020 to the crew in the first quarter. That's kind of the big thing in the first quarter. Um, along with the banner raising, that's coming up in a, in a bit, um, after the opening stuff. Um, the IA Fan Awards are coming, which, we will get this out of the way first here, uh, in the pre-show. The Fan Awards are just the fans that we, are the awards to the fans that we think made a big impact with us and did a, were a, very active in our community in w coming into streams joining us doing stuff with us uh there's two fan awards this year just like last year but unlike the last two years the actual fan fan awards both of them will be posted on a wall. One of them has always been posted on a wall. But uh, one of them, this will be its first time being documented. And uh, we just like to see how um, you guys uh, uh, like uh, what you guys... Uh, we want to support our fans and we want to support our crews. So we thought this is the best way to do it. We know there's probably going to be some annoyed people out there when we announce who our uh of uh, who has been pretty good this year and has kind of stuck with us. But um 
because this year has been tough. Well, don't get me wrong, but uh, we won't get into all that stuff. Um, we'll get into that in the year end. But second uh, quarter, we will have uh, the briefings, which is where everything gets announced. Everything is getting announced in quarter two. So stay tuned for that. There is a lot at the very end of it. In the video services uh, um, thing. Um, so next is the big thing in uh, the, thir the final quarter will be the location unveiling for YE21. It will be pretty cool, I think. Uh, I think you guys will enjoy it quite a bit, but uh, we don't know. I think you guys will enjoy it, but uh, then uh, there's not much in the third quarter in the way of big things. It's kind of just adding to the list of stuff that's already been done, but um, yeah. Uh, it, so, we have in Air Army Originals, we do have new Ar in Air Army Originals coming. Uh, those will be announced in the second quarter. We will have, we have acquired new channels. That's coming in the first quarter, so, uh, they're, they're old channels of ours. One's kind of new, but we'll get to that later with that, guys. That's enough for the pre-show. I hope you guys are stoked to see the year-end come. It's been, it's taken a lot of work. This is the biggest year-end event we have ever prepared for. And let's get it started. Okay, what is up in their army? Welcome 
to the year and wrap up of 2020. Man, it's been a man. I've been winning a while to say that. Man, welcome to the year end wrap up of 2020. We have a big lineup ahead of you, uh, ahead of us today. We have a lot of announcements to make. We have a lot of stuff to show off. We have a lot to do in such little time to do. I'm kidding. We have all the time in the world. <laughs> Um, about two hours, though. Well, I expect it being about two hours. Last year's was... Last year's year-end strength year of... The year-end wrap-up of 2019 of strength was... I can't even remember how long it was. It was over two hours long. And this one, I cannot remember how long it is. Uh, yeah. So... Uh, last year's year end was 2 hours 25 minutes. I just looked it up on my phone. Anyway, welcome to the year end wrap up of 2020. The Comet year end wrap up of 2020. We have a lot to do today. We have a lot to announce today. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. But first things first, we know this year's been tough. Don't, uh, we know it's been tough. We've been trying our hardest to push out the content that you guys love. We think we've done a good job. If you guys think we should do a better job, let us know. We are going to be trying our hardest this upcoming season. It'll be amazing. You guys will love what we do with this upcoming season. We have so many plans in the works. And a lot of them might not make it, but I have a good suspicion that a lot of them will. But, uh, first things first, let's first say Game Year of the Years, you would have seen it prior, the banner raising for me and my fellow Game Year of the Year, and that is DJ. Me and him won it, uh, for the first time in the Army history. Two. There were our two game near of the years. Um, so we will get to the next year voting at the end of uh, the year end wrap up. Pretty much at the end. So with that, let's kind of head into the first thing. It's not the biggest thing we talk about here at the year end because we just don't want to. Uh, upset people and uh that is the ia fan awards so the near army fan awards are pretty much what we want to give we want to be able to give back to you guys and for uh sticking with us for being amazing for uh being subscribed for being, um, for leaving tips in the comments, for leaving funny comments and stuff. So, just like last year, we have two, uh, two, uh, fan things, like accolade stuff, which are listed as, uh, number one and number two on the award things. So, I have them. We, uh, this took a lot of time to set up. <laughs> but, um... So, let's head over there to, uh, I guess, show you guys what we are sh to, uh, I guess, announce who are the, uh, who we think have, has been the best this year. Uh, well, what I mean by that is, like, who's, who helped us the most in the comments, who Helped us the most, uh, well, just, who's been in streams the most, who's been in things, been in events like our tournament that flopped. <laughs> we'll get to that in a bit. <laughs> anyway. 
so let's uh let's do subscriber first. That's uh, that is num listed as number one. So this is the uh YouTube Gaming Subscriber of the Year Award. We just named it, named it that because we wanted to. Um, it it's kind of just meaning the person that we that uh did a lot uh with us joined a lot of community events and stuff did stuff uh in uh, joined a lot of streams and stuff you pretty much get the point uh pre show even explained it so i i know pre -sh in the pre show we did say that um this is the first time we are writing it down like documenting it fully because last year we just uh I think said it we didn't r we put it on like a board this year we have it on the actual wall we did go back and find last year's uh recipient and put it on put him on the wall also but this year's uh YouTube gaming subscriber of the year I should have a sign on me so Kinda need it. Kinda need a sign. This year's YouTube Gaming Subscriber of the Year is Clone Inkling 2. Yeah. <laughs> Just so I remember how to spell it. There we go. There you go. Thank you for being subscribed. <laughs> and one award down. <laughs> and the next fan award for the fourth year in a row that we've done the this award, even though the uh, technically the social media group that's uh, the award is named after. It's not really around anymore. We still have it named that because it was a big part of this channel's uprising, which is still, we're still uprising. But, um, the second award of the night, the second IA fan award, and the last IA fan award, the Google Plus comment of the year. The comment that either was a, helped us with some, with, information, mostly me, or made us laugh. Last year, made us laugh. This year, it's a tip. I remember this one. Um, so, as you can see, it says flash for the comment last year. Yeah, that, it made me laugh. It was, it was a live stream. Don't, don't, uh, don't do it. Don't question it. Anyway, the the winner of the Google Plus comment of the year is Yol Mod, and he was giving a tip. Uh, it was a tip for uh, Splatoon Two. Uh, it was in a versus episode. Um, pretty sure, and it was a tip about a weapon. I can't remember which weapon, but um. It helped. I've used uh, I've used his information, and I've I've done better with the weapon. There we go. And those are the two 
fan awards for this season. We don't expect getting any other fan awards in the future, but, um... Uh, something we do want to cover quickly. Well, I have it in the list of something to cover majorly. And that is the honorary member system. We have not picked someone yet. We have not picked an honorary, honorary member for the season. Uh, for the next season, we have not picked an honorary member. And... I I guess I kind of take some of the, I can take kind of some of the most of the blame for well, all the blame for this one because we didn't really explain what the honorary member is what they do so I will explain that now the honorary member of the Nair Army team um actually will be able to be in videos year round unlike if you win like a tournament. Uh, under out uh, that we host you get to be in uh videos like i think uh the spring tournament the uh reward was you got to be in like you get to be in like four versus matches which is pretty good being that i know someone that actually wanted that has wanted to be in versus episodes so, um, the honorary member, we are still looking for someone. Once we figure that out, we will make an announcement on social platforms, uh, probably in a video. <laughs> but, um, it, it will be nice to see the honorary member come in. We do have, um, something ready for when we do decide to pick someone as the honorary member, and that is this, every single member of our crew has a pillar here in, an, in the Varial Center, and this year, we want to have this one be to the honorary member. The reason why this one's stone and not red, or green, or gray, or blue, is uh, because... We, because of the book series that we have in the Inir Army series, uh, Earth Control, Pixel Takeover are out. Um, Darkness Storm is still in the works. Um, we all have tribes in the series. This guy does not. <laughs> Obviously, because we don't know who the guy is. But, um... You, you, for honorary member, usually it'll just be one year that someone will be, but if we like, ha liked having someone be the honorary member, it'll most likely be, uh, overruled, and, uh, that person will be able to stay for an extra season. Also depends how many, uh, submissions we get. <laughs> but, uh, this year we will still be checking, I will probably check after this, uh, goes live, and as people will know that we're still looking for someone to uh, join temporarily for this season, because what we want to do is we want to Im involve you guys as much as possible this upcoming season. We know a lot of the time that won't work, but there, we are working on getting a streaming schedule put together. We are working on getting another tournament set up for in for in the we're trying for in the winter uh like winter break just that that'll take a lot of figuring out but it'll be a weekend tournament so i don't think it's that big of an issue but um we will have a spring tournament again don't you worry that we'll be coming back and this time we i promise we will do it better Hopefully in spring break, that, that it's usually usually the same time. We will see. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll talk with uh, our Discord server. Usually that is the uh, area that we get the mo That's where a lot of the people that were in the tournament this year came from. 
Um, so, but besides me. But uh, this year's tournament didn't really go that well. We kind of just uh, scrapped it. It wasn't doing well, so we just kind of uh, cut it off. We also ran out of time to do it. We had so much coming in. Summer Marathon was kicking off. We tried to get it done quickly, and we just couldn't. We did one weekend, and we got a winner. We decided the winner from that weekend. So, we'll get to that. We'll get to that later. Anyway, moving on from honorary member. Next thing we are talking about. Well, it's not really something we're talking about. It's the Inair Army Awards of 2020. There is a total of, I think, 14 awards to the team. Well, 13 to the team. One that will be to a game. The game of the season. And, um, yeah. But, uh, starting off with the awards, uh, the, the ones we are starting off with are the ones that do not have a banner that goes up on a pillar. It just doesn't make sense for the first two. Well, one of them, it, there's not even a pillar for it. So, yeah. Unless we wanted to build a pillar for each and every game that is, uh, nominated. I'm not doing that. Anyway. Uh. Let me just. I want to say uh, who was nominated for uh, this one. No one else was nominated for this one. The first of the actual Inator Army Awards of 2020 to the crew is the Academic Award. Now this is just an Academic Award. as that's why we don't have a banner for it. Doesn't really make sense because in a couple of years we're just going to be scrapping this award, anyways. We are we already uh scrapped the athletic award, the most athletic award. So the the winner of the Inner Army twenty twenty Inner Publishing um, academic academic award is. I, an editor, I'm pretty sure, oh, it's I, and I'm pretty sure she won it last year also. So, ain't that ironic? Whee! <laughs> if you didn't know, if you don't know what I just did, I just threw it across, I just yeeted it across my room. So, <laughs> moving on. The next award, Game of the Season. This is probably what you guys are wanting to know, because Game of the Season Gets a couple new things this year. Games of the season either gets the pick of being a primetime slot, which is a Wednesday upload time, or a uh, Friday heavy hitter slot. So, game of the season, the fourth award of the night, the second award of the Nair Army Awards of 2020. And the game of the season for the for the season for the year of the Red Lens is Minecraft Dungeons. Uh, two episodes are up. Yeah, two two episodes are up. Amazing game. We were going to pick Splatoon two. Just. Hear me out. We're doing so much with it. I don't want to limit it to a prime time or a heavy hitter slot. There's two different series running out of Splatoon 2. So we don't want to limit it. If that also means we can't stream it. So I don't want to limit it. So we went Minecraft Dungeons game of the season. Congrats to the game. It came out this year. And it came out in... I got it like right away. I played it right away. It is an amazing game. It is so fun. It's quite a different type of game for me. I never usually am into games like what it is. But hey, I won't. I won't bother. I, I I like. I'm okay with it. But um, the next award, controversial one. Uh. Okay, I was pressing the wrong button. Anyway, next award. 
This one, we need a banner for. The... Tournament Champion of the Year. This is an award that wasn't really handed out last... Was, wasn't really handed out last year because, well, the tournament last year was... What was it? I can't remember what it, was, what it was. But this is the Face It Tournament Champion of the Year for 2020. And, uh, yeah. Um, because of st statistical stuff and other reasons, uh, the winner of uh, the Tournament Champion of the Year is the in air army tournament team because of uh players switching in that weekend it was very messy that's also another reason why we scrapped it it wasn't uh, organized that well we need to do a better job at setting it up last year this next year and a rule now you can't switch teams like switch sides <laughs> it, it made it hard to score things if people were switching sides like crazy but um yeah so this award doesn't go on a pillar because we were going to do a special pillar for it but uh we decided against it so what we will do for this uh, for this award is hang it Hang it on the building. Outside the building. To, in that fact. Or should we put it in this? This is the award zone. There we go. Right there. I don't think I really had to fly, but uh, put this banner back in the box. And which which award is next? Uh. I can't remember which one this is. Uh, <laughs> the initials are FM. Oh, fun. Oh, I know this one. It's our newest award. The Funniest Member Award. That's what this one is. It's the Funniest Member the Inator Village Funniest Member Award. The newest award of the Inator Army Awards of, uh, ever. Um, this is its first year being handed out, and it is an amazing award. It says who's been funny, even if they don't have a mic on, who can kind of pretty much show that they're being funny by just running around and me needing to chase them. Guess it kind of uh, gave up, gave, kind of gave off who won this. Was me. <laughs> um, the the Inair Village funniest member for the year of, for the year of the Red Lens is I. Uh, for good reasons. Number one. Whenever we play, she likes. Uh, whenever we play Splatoon 2, she likes running, and I have to chase her. Then, even beyond that, she she really deserves this. I've been kind of lackluster this year, sort of. 
a bit. I have been the more active person, but eh. Anyway, uh, that one actually has to go up on her pillar. A brand new award. It should fit. <laughs> there we go. It fit. The winner of the award is this one. And here. Woo! Oh, I messed it up. Hmm. I'll fix that. <laughs> This one is right. Nope, it's not. Wow, I'm gonna redo these pillars. These pillars look very messy. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Next award is AOY. Why did I not write the name of these awards? <laughs> um, Article of the Year. That's the only one that starts with an A. Pretty sure. <laughs> um, article of the year. Uh, the inner post article of the year. It's one of our websites that we run. Um, it's not our uh, most uh, kept up to date website. Only one. Uh, only two articles are up there. Or three. I think it's three. Yeah, three. Three articles are up there. Um, and, uh, article of the Inner Post Article of the Year winner for 2020 is Gameinator 5. It's me. I am pretty sure you al I already have this banner on my pillar, so, let's check. <laughs> this is my pillar. Uh, because I won it last year also. Uh, oh. Uh, I fell off the pillar. Yeah, there it is. Article of the year. There we go. Yep. I am the winner once again. Ah, jeez! I'm a fell. I'm a fell in the hole. <laughs> that would have been... That would have been funny. Anyway, uh, moving on. Next award, the Foti Award. Uh, this one, at least I put Foti. I know what this one means. Photographer of the Year. Pretty sure, that, once again, there was only one of these. One person nominated for this. I know that for this one, there were... There, the only reason why I put Foti is because there's one that is literally the exact same initials. So I put H. <laughs> so, uh, these, like, I don't even know how many awards this has been. But the, for the friendly picks, photographer of the year award for 2020 goes to me. <laughs> I was the only one that did, that did editing. This is the editor award. So this one goes to the editors. Not not really many of us have done editing. <laughs> Other than me. So for the second year in a row, I'm pretty sure I've won this one. Uh, we are wanting to set up an editing uh, division, but uh, just takes a lot of work. I'm pretty sure that is it. Right there. Anyway, uh, next award. Is the, oh, wait, no, we already did that one. The, uh, poster of the year, right? Pretty sure that's what this one is. Yeah, poster of the year. The next award is the Instagram poster of the year for 2020. Um, this one isn't that big. Uh, it's not that big of an award. There, it was between two of us. Uh, none of these are really that big. <laughs> the last ones are really big. The well, Game Near of the Year is really big, and that one we kick everything off with. But um, 
Poster of the Year is not that big of an award, but yet it is a pretty good award for us because it shows who posted a lot and uh, did stuff like mm, posted online. Uh, uh, <laughs> like uh, posted videos were in videos. Like pretty much, if you were involved, if we were involved in a video, this one you're, uh, this one, every, every, a lot of people are eligible for this one, but only two of us uh final finalized were finalists for this one, and the winner of the in Instagram poster of the year for 2020 is I. Once again, I'm pretty sure she won this one last year. It, this is not meant to be biased. <laughs> I would have given it to... I, I'm just saying, I probably would have given it to me. But, no, I think that says that this is not biased. Yep, this is it. Not to be crazy like Instagram. <laughs> we use Instagram quite a bit, so that's why I said crazy. Anyway, um, next award is best rages so this is an award from any from an innator army original series gamer talk best rages the rage inducing fun show has its own award this is listed as award 10 for the night and best rages what does that entail well not much I will say that. Not much. It just means the person that kind of lost a lot. <laughs> I lost a lot. <laughs> um, I, I, the only two people that have been in uh, GT this year. Uh, well, actually, I was about to say only two. That's that's wrong. I should should have checked this. DJ was in. Uh, me, DJ, and I have all been in uh, GT this se this season. Just I think only me and I uh, finalized for this one. Um, I have my phone up, so I'm just yeah. Only me and I finalized for this one, which is weird because DJ should have. But um, the gamer talk, the winner of the gamer talk best rages. Of 2020 is Gaminator 5. It's me. And I know for a fact I've seen this one today. There it is. I don't even need a drop. There it is. It's a medal. You get a medal. Woo! <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Anyway, um. <laughs> The next award, we have, like, one, two, three, four. We have, like, six more. <laughs> it's a lot of awards. Why did we come up with this many awards? <sighs> the next award is the most valued streamer. The last two years, the winner of this award was Strawberries. This is the Twitch Most Valued Streamer Award. And the winner of the Twitch... This year's winner of the Twitch Most Valued Streamer Award for 2020 is... Gaminator5. This is a new banner for On My Pillar. Hey. There we go. The new purple banner hanging off my pillar. Uh, he... uh, no, it's here. It should be on this one. Yeah, right there. Keep in mind, a lot of these banners were just put on here from kind of, uh, uh, designed from the previous uh, centers, so, 
Uh, next award. Uh, Thoughty. Oh, I know this one. Streaker of the year. <laughs> like, streak of videos and stuff. Blah, yeah. It, it sounds kind of weird, the name of the award. But the name of the award is meant to be... Uh, it, it's meant to make sense because it is the Snapchat award. This is the Snapchat Streaker of the Year award. And, um... The Streaker of the Year... You need to be in a lot of videos, so only two of us uh, actually uh, uh, qualified for this award. Me and I, I know this one, um, because me and her uh, were pretty common this, this season. Well, she was pretty common getting into the latter half of the season past, uh, past the new year because we got the Switches and we uh, got Splatoon 2. And it was amazing. So, the snap, the this year's winner of the t Snapchat Streaker of the Year award is Gaminator Five. Um, I don't think I've won this one. No, I haven't won this one, have I? I've won a lot of awards. Who won this one last year? I have a good suspicion I know who won this one. What the heck? Who won this? Who won it? Was it you? It wasn't even you! What the? Oh, it was me. There it is. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm looking around like a chicken with his head cut off. <laughs> anyway, um, next award. Most active member. Or as it says on the paper, ma'am. <laughs> this one, I can't remember the spawn, the... Uh, uh, one, the, I can't remember what we named this one after. First week we did it. Uh, second week, where you... Uh, most active member, Google Groups. Most active member. I should have written down the full names. That's my bad. But, um, the Google Groups. This year's Google Groups me most active member winner is. I. Now, this one might need some explaining. This one is meant to be like. Who was the most active on games, channel stuff? I know I was more active on ga on the channel, and you could probably argue that I was probably more active on gaming. But I can't see most of I's stats because I don't. Ha I'm not on PlayStation. <laughs> so, um, well, I have a PlayStation account. I I have a Vita. I don't know where it is. <laughs> But, um, the most active member is I. I'm pretty sure she does not have this banner on her. So, most active member of the year of the Red Lens is I! Woo! Her pillar's getting very busy. I should have put another thingy on this side. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> and the next award the most dedicated member 
And this one's in Nader World, I do believe. Yes, the Nader World most dedicated member. This is our main award of the season. This, well, this is, well, uh, Nader World is our main website that we have done much on recently, but I'm trying to do, get better at it, but, um, the most dedicated member is the member that does the most, that wants to do the most and the most stuff for this channel that has done the most over this season. And this year's Innator World Most Dedicated Member Award goes to Gaminator 5! And I'm pretty sure I did not win this one last year. <laughs> oh, it's not on that side, not on that side. I did not win it. DJ did. I just got myself another banner. I might overlap DJ, who is curr currently the most... Uh, the winningest member of the team. So. I just won another award. The most dedicated member. Woo! Let's go. And... The second to last award, the most valued member, which is Blogger. This one I know. The Blogger Most Valued Member Award of this year goes to I. I'm going to fit this on our pillar. Jeez. This is not gonna go well. Uh, most act most valued member, the orange one. <laughs> this one. Uh, yeah, can't fit it on this side. Guess we're doing this side. Well, actually, it's, shouldn't it go? Where does he have it? He has it like right underneath the game and air of the year thing. So it goes there. Oh no, it's right there. Okay, there we go. Much better. <laughs> the most valued member is I, for good reason. For a very good reason. She did a lot this year. She joined back. She left the team. She joined back to the team. She became the team's ma the, this channel's manager plus the mature channel manager. She's done a pretty good job, and I've done a lot of stuff also with uh, managing and stuff. But, uh, she has helped with, uh, some decisions. But, um, the final award, the Discord Gamer of the Year Award for this season, the final award of the near, the final award of the Nader Army Awards of, for 2020, and the winner of the Discord Gamer of the Year Award is Gaminator5. I have never won this award ever. <laughs> that guy did. <laughs> yeah, see? There we go, Gamer of the Year. I almost got rid of the banner. <laughs> and with that, that will do it for the Nader Army Awards of 2020. The next part, I'm going to cut for it because I need to go grab something. But, um... The next part, uh, I also, I have to cut anyways because it's an announcement. 
We have had to announce the forming of something. So, uh, let's show you the trailer. We, I know it's forming of something, but let's show the trailer of the forming of the new, uh, well, insignia and stuff. So, uh, let's go. Okay, so we are all so welcome back to the stage. We are we are all very proud to announce the forming of the Adata Group. It is the it is going to be like the main I like symbol you will see on pretty much all the channels now. Yes, every channel will keep the name. We will still be running under video services, but Inator Group will be like the main head, the main parent of the groups, of the channels. It will control all of them. And with this, this is our first announcement of the night, uh, the formation of the Inator Group. And we are proud to announce that we are, we are, Dropping a well, actually, not a lot of our not every channel will be making the switch over. That is clear. Not every single one has made the switch over, and not all of them we expect will in the future. But, um, currently, the channels that are switching over are TKG Universe, I Mature, obviously, in Air Army. I Creepers and Inator Extra. Those five channels will be making the switch over to the Inator Group system this upcoming, uh, well, effective immediately as soon as the next season begins on Monday. We will enter immediately. Every team will be effectively in the Inator Group. Banners will be made, will be remade. We already have banners made for this channel. Stay tuned for that. New art coming. But along joining the channels will be Inator Village, Inator Publishing, Inator Army Development Studios, Inator, Inator Post, and InatorWorld.com. We will be, all those groups will be joining, plus two more channels that we are Pre well, I know Inator Extra has always been a part of uh, video services. Same with uh, I Mature. Uh, obviously, this one, uh, Inator Army. I Creepers is new to in video services along with uh, Universe. Um, but we are proud to announce we are bringing in two of our pretty much dead channels to. Inator group and that um, and the first one is the first one we are proud to be welcoming to the Inator the full Inator family is Sports Talk the channel will not change the name will stay the same the their the goal of being our sports brand will stay this will be the sports side of the NATO Army. We are wanting to break down sports, games, everything. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna take a lot of work to set up, but uh, over this year, I think we'll be able to get it done. But, um, we said two. That's only sports talk. So, what else is coming? Well, in, um, when the pandemic kind of kicked off, 
we uh we got asked I got asked by a friend of mine to bring something to YouTube and that was bring my custom seasons from the NHL game to YouTube. I did it then. We didn't fully confirm that it would be we didn't fully make it a part of the team. Officially now. The custom season YouTube channel will be joining the Inner Army team. The channel name will change to IA Custom Season instead of having EA NHL Custom Season. It will be IA Custom Season. Logo will change. T the, the goal of the channel will stay the same. It will cover all the game, all oh, like 60 in each season games. Um, we are at the cur the channel will not make the change immediately, as it will be it as the channel is in the middle of a season. As soon as season uh, six ends and heads into season seven in NHL 21. We will change the custom season channel to IA custom season. The channel will be fully controlled, fully looked after, and it will have better quality for streams and everything. It is going to be an amazing change. I can't wait to fully see what it brings to the table. It also means that... Custom season stuff can be used in Inator original properties like Gamer Talk and other stuff. But custom, I can't remember if I would have put the logo in here because the channel name is changing and it's being acquired fully. We've done some works, worky work on the logo and icon. I don't know if I have that here though. So let, let's just check. Nope. Not here. But, with that, with the addition of cu the custom season, and with the addition of the custom season channel, along with the addition of the sports talk channel, we are proud to announce that Nair Group is going to be strong. We are going to look into trying to get some more of the former Nair Army channels, the now former. Um, we're going to see to get, try to get them in. I can't promise we'll get them a part of the team because the team is already really big. But Inair Groupers will get a new logo. I am mature will get a new logo. Take as your universe. That one's fine. But um the reason why they will get a new logo, I've I haven't changed them to the new system. Their system is still behind well mature banner is behind one uh site will be behind a cycle now. Uh Creepers is behind th by three cycles. Extra is not. Extra is brand new. It's not even one year old. Same with Universe. But, uh, well, Universe is like two? Yeah, yeah, Universe is two, and no videos have po been posted. Universe is education. Extra is extra. Creepers is Minecraft, obviously. And Mature is Mature and Teen Games. So... Uh, I'll cut here again, and we will head to the next part, uh, oh, well, would you looky there, that's it for the, fir the first quarter, let's head to the pre-show break. Okay, so, we are back with the pre-show, welcome to the, back to the pre-show, guys. Inator Group, the forming of Inator Group. That's that was a, that was kind of unexpected. I have feeling I don't think anyone would have seen that coming. 
And you see this big giant box behind us? That has the logo for in in Nader Square right inside of it. We are going to break that open right now in the pre-show. Then we will talk a bit more about uh, the fu what uh, Nader Group means for the future. So let's, uh, I guess I've already started. <laughs> but yeah, we will talk about what this means for the future of the um, in Nader uh, channels. And, uh, well, future in general. We don't want to get too into it because it could be getting discussed later in, uh, in the event. So we don't want to talk about it much, but, um, yeah. Okay, let's uh, get this off. Already looks amazing. I sure hope this does not break because it wasn't, we did <laughs> do uh, the supports. That are supposed to be here. <laughs> There's, it's supposed to have stuff like right here when it's uh, boxed. Oh well. We'll see. If this part is down there when we come out for uh, the next pre next part after uh, this uh, next quarter, then we'll know. Uh, we'll have to repair it and stuff. There we go! It really looks nice. Like, I really like the look of it beside the, uh, old, the main logo of this channel. But, um, yeah, let's talk about what this means for the future of the Nader, Nader Army. We might even, but I might not talk about it much now. Might talk about it more at, um, the after show. But, it, it's, it means, means some, it mean, doesn't mean anything bad. Yes, a bunch of channels are getting cut. Uh, unboxing, vlogs, uh, entertainment. Uh, that'll still be around though. Um, but, uh, not a part of the team. Um,. We have so many channels that it's hard to keep track of which ones will be making will possibly even make a switch. A lot of them that haven't might not. So um expect that. If um So yeah. An inner group is good because it will give us more uh more uh, control over everything. It makes us be able to group everything together, like have uh, custom season stuff with the um with um w in gamer talk. That would be absolutely amazing. Probably probably would need to do some more work with it, but that would be awesome. Fun with EA Sports. That could go to a completely different level. But, um, the main thing is, the main thing to take away from this, it won't change what we do. It will not change what, um, our mission is, and that is to build a safe, uh, envi safe environment for you guys to come and play in, and watch videos in. That will not change. This, that, this will always be, that will always be our mission. It will never change. Ever. So. The, the, it, it is really cool to see that uh, it came. 
Um, it it was something that all of that uh, we kept quite quite well. Unless you've been on the server and you went to hop because it's been there for months. The logo's been there for absolute months. At the, the on the um uh field. We have two ready to be installed at uh the new ver at the old varial center, like the main varial center we have. There's two ready to go there. We are uh working on getting one to the new place for next the place for next year. Does not have one currently. But um we we're working on it. Don't you worry. We will get one there eventually. But um yeah, it it is awesome to see. It I'm I'm really happy that it because it will it means we can do a lot more. It gives us a lot more uh movement to do stuff. It'll be amazing. And uh I guess this pre-show really doesn't have much to talk about. We will have a lot to talk about after this part. It is time to head to quarter number two. It is time for the briefings. Briefings. At, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's bring up the briefings. There is uh, the main opening of the briefings, which is next. Then in near, followed by Nader Village. Followed by Development Studios. Followed by Nader Publishing. And we will end with the NATO Army Video Services. And, uh, there's a lot getting announced here. But without further ado, let's head, let's shoot it back over to the Galactic Burial Center. And let's see what you guys, and let's see what you guys will get to watch. And what you guys will get to see this upcoming season. This upcoming premiere month. Let's go! Okay. So, welcome to the second quarter. Welcome to the briefing quarter. So, we have a lot that's getting announced. I can't even remember. There's like six things in uh, the Nair Army one. There's like another six in Nair Village. Nair Development is just giving updates. And Nair Publishing has quite a bit also. Like there is a lot that is about to hit you guys. It is going to be absolutely amazing. It is going to be absolutely nuts. I'm going to lo uh, I'm uh, if you guys are hyped for any of the stuff that is coming leave it in the comment section below. Uh because we we'd like to know. It we would certainly like to know. So, but first things first. Um let's talk about some stuff. So, in Nader Publishing, let's uh, give some backstory for all of our groups. In Nader Villages first, so let's talk about them. They are getting ready to launch off their second... In Nader Village is getting ready to launch off its second expansion wave, which is going to bring in two new cities. One of them is not found yet. A big new part to every city, and a lot more than... Moving on to uh, development studios, as I said, they're just giving updates on projects, saying that and stuff. So not much is coming from them. Um, in air publishing, a lot is coming. I don't want to spoil it yet, but uh, the big one that I think you guys are all going to want to wait to see is in air army video services. There is, I'm pretty sure, six things getting announced in that one alone. And they are big projects. Two of them were worked on with a, worked on kind of in sync, to, are getting worked on in sync together. Another one, not really. But, um, 
it's gonna be awesome. Let's uh, let's go to it, and uh, there's not much to say in this part, but there's a lot more to say in the next part. Let's go to Nair Village. And welcome to the Nader Village year end wrap up of 2020 briefing. We got a lot to talk about. There's a lot coming. Expansion season 2, expansion season 3. There's a bunch that we get, gotta talk about here. There's a lot that is going to be changing on the server. There's a good amount that's changing on the server. There's a couple new projects that we need to announce. Um, and stuff. So, I guess, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, we have trailers for pretty much everything. So, it's going to take a lot of cutting. But, we have been working around the clock these last couple weeks to get things done, to get things ready to show you, to show you in trailers, to get them done and show them in trailers. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of effort. So, for the first time ever, the Inner Village is proud to announce we are bringing in two new cities outside of the expansions. Let's go to the first one. Let's show the trailer. Project Spruce, the newest project in the Near Village setup. It, please give a warm round of applause for it. Project Spruce is coming to Near Village. It will be a end-based city. I know we could call it like Project Egg, but Project Project Spruce. So we threw people off our scent of what we were doing. It is set the main hub. It will be set up just off the coast of, or just outside of Hop City, and will be, will have the airport. It will have the airport and stuff like you can fly there. You can drive. You will be able to drive there. Park your horses there. It'll be amazing. The main terminal will be the most insane thing we have ever built, and the. And city, we will work our butts off to make everything look amazing. We will turn that center area into the main hub of this area. There will be houses, there will be shops, there will be everything. Don't, you don't want to miss any of what we're doing in Project Spruce. It will be amazing. Now the issue is... You fall, you dead. So we're working on that. A lot of water will be in this, in there. If you can, uh, you can put water. Yeah. So there will be a lot of water. So Project Spruce, we are proud to be bringing because it expands the world. We want to have there be enough things that keep everyone coming back again and again. So Project Spruce is the first of two projects that will be not, that won't be expansions and will come Im effective immediately when they are done. So, let's show this next project that we've been working on, fresh from 1.16.
Let's show it off right now. So, that's right, Project Volcanic, we are heading deeper. We are going to the nether. The nether village and will embark to the nether. And we have an amazing area just outside our portal that will be made into a nether city. There will be striders as the horse is there. It will be amazing, which means there's lava roads. Kind of scary. But these are, the main thing we should say, Project Spruce, Project Volcanic. The cities won't be that big. They're going to be like built like in a pretty good, they're going to be decent size. But Project Spruce, well, obviously we have to fit it on that island. Project Volcanic, that is the entire nether. I'm not using the entire nether. <laughs> but, um, Project Volcanic will also bring the newest and rarest material to the server. And that is netherite. It will also bring lots of other materials. And where Project Volcanic's portal is will be a volcano. Where you saw the portal the portal in the trailer will be where the portal is when it is done will take a lot of work to build a volcano there so we will get started pretty much right away plans are gonna get drawn up we will have to figure out how we're gonna get there we are gonna have uh roads there but being a volcano we don't want to get too too close so with horses because they burn quite easily so um and then there will be an airport there kind of dangerous but there will be but the main the place other than having a volcano as like the design it will also be where we get most of the coal for the server now uh, it will be a big zone it will be an amazing zone and I hope you all will want, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will want to check out how we design our nether city. It will be insane. Buildings will probably span from the bottom to the top. We will probably have a lava digger. Like, it'll be insane. The amount going into Project Volcanic. And the next part doesn't really have a trailer. More like uh, update. We're updating a big, big section of this of the server, and that is Victory Avenue. Victory Avenue, the first ever street that was ever built on the server, is getting a big relook. All the group, all the buildings that are in. That are are that are on this street that will be getting redone will be relocated temporarily, so that we can re so that we can build so we can update them, and the buildings that will be moving are as follows: creeper construction. That's an issue because that is the group that building it, and they won't have any other supplies. And transportation RS. So you can't, you won't really be able to buy a horse right away. Uh, you'll have to wait for them to come in. Uh, when you buy a horse when they're not in their building. The reason why we're deciding to do a big Victory Avenue redesign is because so much has come out since we started the server. Concrete 
Everything has pretty much changed. The way I build is different. So, we will be redesigning Victory Avenue fully. Full redesign. Probably going to go a little modern because we want it to look kind of similar to the Innator Army uh, Live Center, which is the big red building at the very end with all the beacons shooting up. That is the uh, Inner Army place. We just did that building and it looks so cool. And I'm pretty sure everyone will want to see all these buildings change eventually. Just, it'll take time. That's for sure. Uh, we are uncertain if Brewmaster will change because it's connected to Transportation RS. Um, it might. There's the Brewmaster. I can't. It's not Filtration Center. Filtration Center is the big one. So if that Brewmaster place has to close, it's not that big of an issue as the Filtration Center will take up the uh, duties of that one for temporary uses. But um, Brewmaster might be closing. It's connected via parking garage, but we don't know yet. Um. But moving on from Victory Avenue, let's talk about our expansion timeline, shall we? There's not, there's a lot that's changed. So, the first three expansions are out. They are amazing, the buildings look uh, awesome. The third one was our most ready expansion yet. But, expansion season two. I could probably say one part, two parts of this are probably not gonna be on time. One part of this is definitely gonna be on time. Releasing December 1st, expansion one of season two, the Blizzard expansion. We will show you a trailer in a little bit. March 19th, Slip and Slide will release. Mar August 14th, the Olympic expansion will release, which will bring things to every Active city except for volcanic. Uh, the end, the nether, the you you get what I mean. Like pretty much all overworld cities will have uh Olympic playground and stuff. So um, we will announce expansion season three, the outdoor w expansion, which is getting worked on right at the moment. There's not a lot that's getting done for it, though. So, yeah. Anyway. Um. The Blizzard. Guess, let's show you guys the trailer of the Blizzard right now. Let's show you it. Here's your first look at Snowball Mountain. Coming December 1st. Okay, that mountain took about a week to build fully uh, because we realized, oh, I realized, uh, like, last week, like, a couple weeks ago, oh, crap, I need to get that done, and I got it done in a couple, in, like, a week, <laughs> so, 
Snowball Mountain. We'll have a village. We'll have a couple hotels. And we are proud to announce officially today. We won't show it off because we don't know where it'll be yet. But Project Igloo for the Innator Entertainment team on the server is going into action. We are going to build a Feral Center in the coldest place on the server. No, this is not a smart idea. Because we need a lot of torches. Are we still going to do it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course we are. I mean, do not. We flippin' built this stage. <laughs> Which is floating. But that's beyond the point. Anyway, um, let's ignore that. Anyway, um, well, it's sort of floating. La, 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 la. Um, <laughs> the Blizzard expansion will be the one of the biggest expansions we ever release, ever, in on the server. And I don't know, slip and slide might be as big. We just do not know. Uh, I haven't even found a good place to put it. We found a place, but stupidly, the server there decided to reset. That was annoying. So we have to go into new charted territory. And it's the same for the other, it's the same for expansion season three. I don't know where to stick it. Uh, because, well, it's going to take a lot of work. To find a good place. But, um, yeah. Moving on. Next. Is, uh, well. I just want to make sure there's no. I have it up on my phone also. Nope. Uh, expansion Season 3. That is the entrance to Expansion Season 3. That will be the entrance to it. That is. I can't remember the name of the highway. <laughs> that is one of the highways on the server. Uh, along w well, that's 97. MC Highway 97. I the one that's go that has the green signs in front, on pretty much on top of it. Um, the other one I can't remember the name of it. It's the one that will take you there. Um, but um, expansion season three will be the outdoor expansion. We'll have. Campgrounds, uh, take like three campgrounds will be out there. There will be a mountain. There will be um, a lot. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to show you guys more about season three, possibly in later month. But we'll see. And coming up. And um, the next, and that is pretty much all in it we have to talk about here on the near village stage. So let's head to the Nader Army Development Studios. There's pretty much nothing here. So let's go. Okay. So. Near Army Development Studios, as you can tell, there's no banners, there's no thingy here. We don't need it, as literally is nothing. <laughs> there is literally nothing in Development Studios has really done other than stuff with uh, video services. But that's coming in the video services part. We wanted to put it there. But um, I wanted to give you guys some updates on uh, Apocalypse. And, uh... Some other stuff. So first things first, we um we've kind of reset the timeline. Uh, Apocalypse is still gonna be first. It's the furthest one in development. Then Crusader, then Hero. Those will be the three. Then the rest that we announced at like uh, near month will be late, very late. Anyway, um. Hero, we expect, will have, like, more than one game, uh, uh, version. Same with Apocalypse. So, we want to get those done. Crusader is one and done. So, Crusader, we're, it, we're, we've picked the world for Crusader, if you didn't hear that. We've picked it. 
And, um, Apocalypse is at the point that we are building the levels. Like, it is, it has made a lot of progress. Um, I haven't been in the world in quite a while because we've been working on other development pro projects and stuff. We want to have some help with other things. So, we did that. And, um, so, we're working on it. Don't worry. Apocalypse is still coming. We are not canceling it. I've put too much work into it to cancel it. Anyway, uh, we were wanting to show some gameplay today of Apocalypse. But, uh, I don't want to show the first level because, um, then you guys would know pretty much how to do the first level. I want to show, like, a, like the tenth level. Which might not make that much sense, but you, you get what I mean. Um... We di we've decided against it. We decided against doing um apocalypse today. So I assure you, stuff will come, and um we will uh give an update later this year on apocalypse. There is not much to say because apocalypse. We just di didn't do that as much as we would have thought. So. Um, yeah, with that, let's, uh, the, that's pretty much it for, uh, for Development Studios, but, um, let's head to Native Publishing, let's talk about what they have coming. Okay, so, welcome to the Native Publishing Briefing of the year wrap-up of 2020. There's a good amount to talk about. First things first, before we get into the actual announcements, no, uh, uh, Darkness Storm is not done. Even if it was done, we, we wouldn't be sending it to get printed. Uh, we made the executive decision to not print it during the pandemic. After the pandemic, uh, yeah, it'll get printed, like, right away. We'll publish it, like, right away. But, um, it's not done anyways, so don't worry about it. Uh, we did, we, we keep... Uh, deciding on things and adding things. We want to reach a certain goal with book three. But it, it's taken a while. So, oh well. But we have some other books coming. Uh, like book projects that we need to talk about today. Tell you guys about that. Uh, we just need to get off our chest. So we can start talking about them more publicly. And let's, uh, I guess, get started with it. First things first, it's, it's the first ever in the army break-off story. It will take place in between Book 4, Infection, and Book 5, Apocalypse. As the world has changed, let's, I'll set, you, set the stage. As the world has changed, a couple of the main characters, a couple with, along with a couple sideline characters, the main story, embark. On an adventure to figure out what is different with the world now than what it was prior. The cast will not be as big as like 74 I think is our highest for the final book of the series. It's a lot, yeah. Um, but it will have two pretty strong characters uh, leading the way. The two main characters of the new break-off story will be Misty and Rain, the brother and sister combo, will be joining, will be leading the pack. Rain with his Wrecker armor and Misty with the Affinity armor will be... Uh, armor. I think I misspelled armor. <laughs> I made this card a while ago. I made it very late. I was very tired. So, of course, it's going to be a mistake. Ignore it. I was going to draw their suits and put them here, but I decided against it because it would take way too flippin' long. Because I like putting details and everything. That would take took way too long. So, I decided against it. Rain and Misty will also be joined by two brand new characters. And we are proud to announce brand new characters today! 
both light and Hilo. Light Gong, which is a, she will be uh, joining at the team. She is a part of the Red Tribe. She is techy, agile, and scientific. She does not have Experiment 77. So, yeah, she doesn't have Experiment 77 or any of them, for that matter. So, um, that just gave off a... Never mind. Ignore me. Ignore what I said about that. Light will be a very cool character to see uh, portrayed in the breakoff story and possibly also in Apocalypse. But the biggest takeaway here is Hilo Bracer. This guy, uh, Hilo, will be joining the team. Will be the first of the Orange Tribe to make an appearance. He is strong, pretty much like um, like Miss no no like Rain, and a couple others. Um, he does have Experiment Seventy Seven, and he he is the first character. To have the speed ability, which is a big thing. That will be used quite often. It will be used quite, quite, qu quite a bit, probably in, in the breakoff story. And I can't remember what else, if there's anything after this. <laughs> Just gonna, I have it up again on my phone. Oh, we have a new origin story to announce. So, no, it's not Light or Hilo. Hilo will definitely be making appearances. We don't just put uh, Experiment 77 guy and uh, have him just be in one book. That makes zero sense. But, we have a new origin story to announce today. And that is... Rain! Rain is finally listed to get his own origin story. He's become... Such a big name character in the making of book three that he will become a main character and will join the origin story lineup. And I don't even know how many origin stories there are <laughs> coming. And Hilo might even get one. Like, there's a lot. And uh, there's like one more thing we needed to talk about. All right? Yeah. One more thing here, and then we go to the big briefing, and it's gonna be nuts. So, coming up, the new line of stories. I've told this to people, I've shown them the covers, and we're proud to announce another line of the Innator Army series. Inator Army United will be a four book part uh, four part series uh, starting with experiment 77 going to reflection sunken and then frozen which frozen in my view is the coolest cover I have ever made and these are the uh, hands down going to be the most craziest books of the entire Nader Army series and will most likely wrap up the storyline. I don't know. I like it. I like adding stuff to it as soon as I think, oh, I could make that into a story. I add it. That's where this came out of. And I didn't just want to make one book. I made four. So, uh, it will be an amazing take on the uh, team and it will be an amazing take on the characters, especially Frozen. It will be amazing. And moving on from that, that is everything Native Publishing has to show. Not that much, but still a good amount. It it would be much it, m a lot more if, uh, if it wasn't for the pandemic and stuff and blah. But um, with that, let's head to Native Army Video Services. This is the big one. Trailers galore! Everything is coming! Let's go! And welcome to the Inair Army Video Services! 
briefing of the year and wrap up of 2020 of Comet. So, there's a lot to talk about. We have art to show. We have things to show. It's gonna be nuts. So, let's end it off with a banger. Let's go to our first trailer. It's um, it's kind of a teaser, but it's still a trailer showing off what will be coming. Let's go to the trailer. Let's hit it! So, brand new art. We already hinted at this earlier. Here it is. We call it the Gen X art. To honor the new generation of gaming, we are proud to announce we are coming out with brand new art for the channels. And this is the first channel to get its art publicly shown off. We will have, as you can see, it has all social platforms. We'll get a couple of those in the future, in a little bit. We have, at we have all three uh, platforms we are on: Switch, Xbox, and Steam. Then at the very top, you can see the near group logo, and then obviously, right in the center. In Nader, the big in their army logo. And we have lava flowing in the background. It looks absolutely amazing. And with this, we will bring a new thumbnail set system. And you will see it for the first time in a little bit. With um the first series dorming it. Um and it will be a season two of something. But we'll get to that in a bit. So, next item we need to talk about here. It's a big one. It's first IA original to be shown on this stage today. Let's show it IA original. And, and will be coming this September. So, let's show it right now. Let's go to the trailer. Aircraft season two is one is coming to the channel this September and will be taking the right rightful spot on Saturday. It will be yearly. Oh well, this one might run longer than a year. We've done so much to it. I don't want to have it last just a year. But in Aircraft season two is more. Sort of more structured. It's also more free. We could do a lot. We could do a lot more than what we could in um, uh, season one. I know season one we didn't end uh, on the right note, but season two I expect we'll do well on because I want to do well on this one. I've done so much work on this one, and we we made good use of the new banner design i will say that but um 
we are actually going to announce the new biomes. Like, the big thing for Season 2 is direction. There is north, there is south, there is west, and there is east. Then there's hub, and then nether. Yeah, you heard me correctly, I said nether. We have hubs, we have a hub in the nether. That's gonna be nuts. <laughs> so, the, we will be dorming three biomes in each different direction. Three in the east, three in the west, three in the south, and three in the north. It will be amazing. It is taking, it has taken a lot of work. It's still not done. But, well, it's close to being done. The main hub is the last thing to be done. But, we wanted to tell you what biomes are going to be in an aircraft season 2. And, let's start out with the south. In the south, we will have the ice spikes. We will have the ocean. And we will have the jungle, which is the jungle you see by, uh, uh, but in on the screen right now. That is the jungle that we will be in for season two. Now, the main thing for season two, we have to have one hub, well, like one main base for us, but then we have to have a main base in each direction. But once we have a main Based in each direction, we could go into any of the biomes in that direction, set up a smaller base, and then we can go there freely. Like, it is going to be an amazing experience. I'm going to love recording this. I know I will. And um, then let's talk about the north, though. Let's uh, get to the north. In the north, also cold, like the south. We will have the tundra, the north mountains, and the frozen ocean. Those are those are even cold. I, you could probably uh, say those are probably colder than the ones in the south. But um, the north, in my view, is my favorite. To would be my favorite to go in. It, they look, a, they're a little harder, so you kind of want uh, to have a base somewhere else before going there. Like, once you have your main base, you, once that we, uh, I have my main base, I can go to pretty much anywhere I want and have some of the gear that I have. Not all of it, but I can have armor, like, tools and stuff. And there is starter gear, uh, equipment for each and every area, but it'll be at a cost. So it'll be it'll be quite cool. We're doing a lot of work with it. It's gonna be a big overhaul from season one. It's gonna be a lot different. And then heading out west, there will be the desert, the badlands, and the swamp. So the west is going to be very hot, uh, very dry, and will also hold place. To a new section coming in the very future. And then, in the east, we have Dark Forest, Mushroom, and Taiga. We have a lot of biomes coming. It'll be awesome. Then we also have Nether, Crimson Forest, Warp Forest, uh, Soul, Sal Soul Sand Valley, and Basalt Deltas. There's a lot coming. We cannot be in the same biome as the hub, which is in, uh, it, the main hub in, uh, in Overworld is in the plain biome, is, is in a plains biome. And then, in the nether, it's in just normal nether. And, but they're very close by. Um, the coolest thing with Season 2, though, is... We're expecting this to take so long that it is already line. We've already lined up an expansion for season two, a future project that we have in the works 
will have a certain part of already has a certain part of this world uh taken up for this and it'll be kind of like another hub but also kind of dangerous to do it's kind of going to be a challenge for every for for me and if i ever have a guest that tries uh, that's the cool thing i want to bring like dj in and have him roam around do some stuff on an episode and stuff like in Nerocraft season 2 will be huge and um i guess let's show you the project that will connect with the Nerocraft season 2 it's not in the same world but it will connect to season 2 let's show it off right now and we'll start with the trailer it's in early development but it is looking very well and let's go. Raid Island version 1 will link with an aircraft season 2 when they when it launches and Raid Island is our biggest endeavor yet you see that island it's going to be twice the size pretty much twice the size it is going to be a lot bigger we are not allowed leaving the island we are only allowed being on the island and, if you didn't know this, my least favorite mob to fight in this game is actually the pillagers. I hate them. Well, guess who you need to fight in this one? Pillagers. <laughs> That's the only mob we will encounter in, the, in this world. Pillagers. It is taking a lot of work. There will be one, we will start in a tower, in one tower at the center of the island. And over time, we can expand it, we can do, we can add stuff to it. But yeah, that is the coolest, this is going to be the biggest project I've already been working on for quite a while. Like, it's taken quite a while to do. And, yeah. So the next next thing we don't need we don't have a trailer for, but it's a big thing we're working on. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to have it listen to yet, but we are coming out with a podcast. We're gonna work on it. We're gonna try our hardest to do it. Let's show you the look for it, and there you go. He did XD! The Inner Army's first ever podcast is coming. He did XD. It looks amazing. It will be an amazing podcast to do. It will be me, uh, the, primarily, the crew, ever, other people will probably jump in eventually, but you can. At the, at the moment, it'll, it'll be on uh, the, its own channel, in the Inair Army channel, in airworld.com, and at the moment, we are uncertain of it being uh, uh, 
we're uncertain of it being listenable. We're trying to figure that out. I don't know if I can do it, though. But we will see. Sorry, headphones are being a little weird now. Okay. So, that is coming. I just want to check what is next. Okay. Let's uh, let's head to it. The trailer's not now, but uh, it it will be after I show it. So, gamer talk, GT. Big changes are coming. Big changes are coming. Gamer talk. It will be getting fully redesigned. I love the look of it, but I put this together like last minute. This uh, thumbnail. So, let's show a trailer. Let's show you what. Gamer Talk will look like going in to this next season, going starting September. Uh, when when is uh, GT September? GT September will be on the eleventh. There you go. So I show you what now. Let's hit the trailer. And Gamer Talk has changed so much. It looks so nice. And along with Gamer Talk getting a full redesign, we are also proud to announce four new segments are hitting it. Let's show you a little teaser of showing what the four new segments will be. That's right, four new segments, Splat Challenges, Laser Tag Extreme, Let's Talk, and Match Up will be joining, joining the Gamer Talk lineup, and I'm hoping to get one of the new ones in September, but uh, I can't make any promises yet. I want to get Splat Challenges in. I did not know about this. I kept this very quiet, and nobody knew. Nobody knew about me putting a n new splat thing together. Well, you might know about this next one. So, next up we have a trailer. And let's show this trailer now. This is for season two of one of our most popular series we have ever made. It is coming back. Season 2! And let's hit it! Oh, what? I literally jumped right over top of her! Oh! Oh, no! No, 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 no! Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! That's super ridiculous! <laughs> Splatoon 2! Versus Season 2, the first series to dorm the new thumbnail design and will hit this week. It is coming September, well, maybe August, hold on, September 2nd, September 2nd. Splatoon 2 Season 2 will launch. It will be between, once again, me 
and I, it is already made as that clip that I showed you, that is from the episode. Season 2 is ready to roll. Me and I loved Season 1, and we are putting quite the spin on Season 2. We kind of messed it up in Round 1 and Round 2, but we are working on making it better for Round 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You get the point. Um, but the main challenge for Season 2 is... We have to start with our worst weapon. We've already started with our worst weapon, and we build it, and we make it up. Once we make it out to our top tier weapon, we are needing to drop down back to our worst tier weapon. For both me and I, that is a charger. And the only time you can change your weapon is when you win. It's adding a lot of challenge to it. Like, the only time you can change your weapon is if you win. If you lose, you cannot change a weapon, even if it's the charger. Now, for web like me, for people like me that we, uh, but, well, actually, first things first, we want to bring fans in for this. We want to do 2v2 sometimes this, during this season. So we want to uh, do something. I'm thinking we might involve fans with a couple rounds. But, uh, you, you get the point. It'll be just, I'm kind of doing this out of the blue. I think it would be fun to do. And, um, uh, season two will have a lot of challenge challenges with that. Especially if we do have, uh, fans join us for, an, for a couple, uh, parts. They'll have to kind of do the challenge too, start with their worst and make make their way up the ladder. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it'll be cool to see. I'm really looking forward to seeing um, how this will go this year. Me and I really, really liked, uh, really liked playing it, so I have a feeling it'll do pretty well. Um, so yeah. Um, I can't remember if there's anything else. Let me just check quickly. Nope. That is it for the Indian Army Video Services briefing. With that, guys, I hope this, uh, we will uh, head to pre-show. Right? Pre-show? Pre-show. Yeah. Pre-show break is now. Pre-show break is next. Then we head into the final quarter. A lot is getting announced. A lot is getting shown. A couple things are being shown then. Then that will be it. And then we will head. We will kick off the next season on Monday. And let's uh, head to the pre show break. Okay. Wow. That was a lot of stuff just announced. So let's uh, let's go by this break by frame by frame. So we have a new breakout storyline coming from Inir Publishing. Uh, Splatoon 2 Season 2. Who, who did that surprise? But I'd like to know. Um, so, uh, four new Gamer Talk challenges along, uh, along well, segments along with, um, the GT redesign in Air Cross Season 2 Raid Island along with a bunch of other stuff. Um well there's Apocalypse that is in level making. There's Crusader that has its world picked, which is pretty cool I would think. Um then Cliff got what was announced besides that. Um Um There was what was the Oh the Victoria uh, Victor Victoria 
Victory Avenue redesign, Blizzard expansion done. Everything is so cool that is coming. There's so much that are go that is going to be hitting in this year. It'll be absolutely amazing. We can't wait for you guys to see these. Um, and for Splatoon 2, be involved in it. To actually see them. To actually be in videos. Even not being an honorary member. Season 2 will allow it. For 2v2 and stuff. It's going to be very fun to do. It'll be amazing. And that, that premieres this week. In the kickoff week. For the new season. That is absolutely amazing. It'll be awesome to uh to see it um and i just can't wait what is to see what else will be coming um like there's got to be more stuff coming the new art looks so so slick for the main for in the innator army channel uh, i i i don't know where the other channels are going to what the other channels are going to look like when they uh, get updated to the new uh, new system. But I think it'll be pretty cool. Um, I think, whether I don't think we should talk much more about this. Let's just head to the next, next quarter. Because, uh, well, number one, uh, I need to get it done. And number two, let's just get it done. Let's get to the after show. Then we can... Uh, talk about everything. Talk about what has happened. Talk about what will be coming. Projected dates of things starting this premiere month. And stuff will be talked in the after show. And let's go. Okay, for the last time, welcome to the final quarter of the year and wrap up. Of 2020! Woohoo! We don't have that much to talk about now. Uh, we kind of covered it all now. But, uh, there is some things that we do want to get through. But, let's start off. Uh, third quarter, we'll start with IA Future. So, uh, the future of Veneer Army, if you didn't see... Uh, we announced that we've kind of developed a plan to go until 2028. Uh, that could easily change, but at the moment, 2028, we are expecting to go until, uh, we, I'm, I'm wanting to go longer, but at the moment, that's how far we'll go. And, what, you want to know how I picked that, the, that? How we picked the 2028? Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'll show you. I'll show you how we picked it. How, how I uh, kind of estimated to go to then. It's a good amount of years left, but um, I expect that I will continue, but we will see because of here. And this is the award record wall. And this could only go to 28. So, I decided, you know what, let's call it, call it 28, we'll, and, uh, done. So, 2028 will, at the moment, is going to be the last year of the channel, but that could easily change, uh, w Depending on what uh we what I decide to do and what others decide to do, I would like to keep doing this, but we just don't know. I love doing it. I love um uh coming and just making videos and stuff. It's it's sometimes annoying when things constantly crash. I crash, <laughs> but um, it's always fun to do. It's always uh, fun to just make videos, then end a year with a big event that I always prepare. Like, I, I always plan the events like a year in advance. Like, it takes so much time. 
and to see it all pay off and stuff it would be amazing. I don't know if it will, but if it does, I'd be I I'd, I'd be super happy. But um the future is is thin at the moment. It's still 28. Um it could that will probably change though. I want to keep going. We probably will remove the date if we think I can if I think I will continue, but it depends what I can do and stuff, and yeah. So, with that, uh, next thing. So, this year's been rough. We all know that. We've been hit hitting uh, pretty much everything. We've been trying to help like crazy, and I think we've done a pretty good job. You, a lot of people could probably argue that we didn't, <laughs> but, um, I think we've done a pretty, pretty well, pretty good job at doing it, and, um, at doing this, uh, this, uh, year, and adapting to it. We adapted our schedule to, uh, allow us to upload w daily, so that we could give you guys more entertainment during this pandemic. I think it paid off. You guys can let us know. We won't do it next season. But if we ever have to again, we will. Don't worry. We are right here waiting. And, um... Yeah, so... There isn't much in the way that will, uh... Cause this year to, um, kind of, well, you slip. I think this year is going to be one of our strongest years ever. And we, we want to start doing more things for community, for the community. Um, and we want to group up with others and do other videos with other YouTubers, so we can kind of get our name out there. We want to do partnerships and stuff, and we want to help the small, ch smaller channels kind of grow and stuff. Like, we are planning to do a lot in this, uh, in the future, and it will be it. It might not benefit us fully, but I it will benefit others. It'll benefit. Um, people that are sort of in need. We want to help give back and stuff. And yeah, I don't know if that'll come this see this year, but uh, I do want to do that. That's like one of my main goals to give back. And um, yeah. So there isn't really much to talk about in the third in the third quarter. So li like literally, we're just wrapping everything up now. So, I guess we should talk about voting. Game Nader of the Year 2020 voting is right around the corner as soon as we enter the next season so on Monday. Voting enters. I am not in the um, race this year. I have opted out and I have... Uh, I'm kind of, if you do vote, end up deciding to vote for me, even though that's stupid because I've opted out. Um, all, anyone that votes for me, the votes will count towards I, so I'm kind of endorsing her this season. She hasn't won ever, and I want her to win eventually. Uh, so, uh, my main goal uh, for G G GOI, Game Near of the Year, is um for everyone to get it. Yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. But my L <laughs> ow. <laughs> anyway, um, the twenty twenty voting will be uh, will include. Uh, let's actually go. Woo! Not me. Uh, this D it will include DJ, Sparky, Diamond, I, 
uh, strawberries, dark, uh, butter, weird, schmerick, potato, and couch. It will pretty much involve everyone except me. And hopefully, um, I, I, did I say I, I, um, it'll pretty much involve everyone except me, so, yeah. The Game Nerd of the Year gets to help with decisions throughout the year and stuff, and I've, uh, obviously, I helped <laughs> this year. I think I've done a good job. Um, I have a couple months left of being, uh, Game Nerd of the Year. This was my second time being Game Nerd of the Year, and, um, Hope, uh, I'm pretty sure I'll get it again, but uh, not not for a little bit. I want to let a couple more get it, then I'll uh, come back in the race. Single this time. I want to be singular. Singular the next time I come in. Unless I team up with I. Which might happen. <laughs> that might happen. I don't know. <laughs> um, but team ups can happen. There's none official this uh, this year, but team ups can happen. Not this year, but team ups can happen. If so, you can you, you vote for one of them. It just counts for both of them. So, with that, um, uh, next thing, partnerships. So, this kind of means like social platforms. We uh, the mixer went down. Uh, uh, closed its stores, as you guys know that, and you guys probably know that. We had a Mixer account, we never used it. Uh, we were going to, uh, start, uh, pretty, pretty soon. But, um, that, that went downhill. So, with that, you would have probably seen it on the banner, unless it was really pixelated. We have decided to, um, join, uh, the Facebook Gaming family. Which, I know it's not that big of one. But we are going to join it. We will still continue streaming on YouTube. Woo! We will hopefully be able to stream if internet is uh, strong enough. We will hopefully be able to stream weekly on Saturdays or Sundays at 3 Pacific. I don't know where that would be uh, at anywhere else. At the moment, I, I have my phone on me, but I'm not going to look it up. Anyway, uh, that's coming. Uh, YE21 location. So, year end next, the year end of 2021 location is next. Um, but, uh, partnerships. Pretty much all of our social platforms are, are staying. They're pretty much all staying. But, uh, we don't use them all. Not anymore. We we go back to them ev sometimes. But, uh, yeah. Um. Year end 21. There is a good amount coming in the year end 21. And that probably will be not as big as this one. Depends on how much we do this year. I don't know. Um. But, uh, Year End 21 Minigame Studios on this server. Uh, the building is done. Like, uh, usually the buildings aren't done by now. Like, there's still things getting done in them. There is a little getting done in it. Uh, not a lot. We have to move, like, banners and stuff. But that, that's, that's little. That's little compared to building it. Especially because it's sitting in the water. <laughs> so uh, let's show you guys the uh, the uh, the burial center for next year's year and wrap up. We don't know the name of it, but uh, next year's. And. That will be where we are next year, and quickly, before we close the year end for this year. Where is it? Oh! Oh, it's in one of the boxes in the chain, in the big room. 
over here. We have to raise the new season. Uh. Ah, there we go. This one is also being titled a year, but it is uh, still under the season system. The year of the globe is coming. Starts Monday, the year of the globe. Kicks off Monday, this Monday, and we will be kicking it off. We don't know with what yet, but um, that that'll be when it kicks off. So, year of the globe, we are entering. We are exiting the year of the red lens, which in my view, has been one of our best years ever. A big thank you to everyone that joined our YouTube family this year. Our our uh, channel has never been stronger. We have never uploaded nowhere near as many videos in a year. We were pretty consistent in the latter half. And it was really, really... Um, it's been a good year. I hope to keep it up next year and the year after that until 2028. <laughs> this year we are not do we are as as of Monday we will not be doing weekly like every, daily we will do uh bi daily Monday, Wednesday, Friday on this channel and Saturday and uh, then um Tuesdays and Saturdays for Minecraft and Thursdays and Sundays for the Mature Channel and anything else we decide to throw in there. So, and uh, custom season will be... We don't know. <laughs> Cause the Season 7 will kick off in uh, October. Say that. Well, it kicks off when I get the new game. That's pretty much it. And I make the teams and everything. Yeah, so... With that, guys, thank you all for being so awesome this year. It's been amazing. I hope to see you all Monday with the kickoff of the Year of the Globe. It's been amazing, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye! So, the year-end wrap-up is technically done. So... Welcome to the after show of uh, the year end wrap up, the comet year end wrap up. It has been, uh, as I said on the stage, it's been an amazing year. Thank you to everyone for joining us, and um, let's uh, talk about some stuff. So, uh, premiere month it starts, so, well, September first, pretty much. That's premiere month, and um. Uh, September 2nd will be the, uh, first premiere of the month, and that will be Splatoon 2 season versus Season 2. That will be the second, uh, that'll be the Wednesday, next Wednesday. And, uh, well, this, well, well yeah, yeah, you get one of me. Um, then coming the following week, I don't know what premiere we'll be doing. Um, there will be a premiere a week. We have enough to do it. We have three premieres this this month uh, that are in the week. There is one premiere that is not in the week, and that is in Intercraft, and that will be next Saturday. Uh, that will be amazing to see an Intercraft startup in Intercraft Season 2 startup. Um, Raid Island, clearly not. Early development, that's not coming for quite a while. Um, but, Mature, I don't think you guys really care for that stuff. We don't know. That's probably going to kick off, like, mid-month. Uh, same, uh, with pretty much everything else. 
Now, uh, then the reason why we're not saying what set the second week is, we don't know when. I don't know when I'm getting the Avengers game. Um, I could be getting it like right away, but we don't know. It's pre-ordered. That's all we know. It, I'm supposed to be getting it mon on the first. So, by that, I should be able to make it for the next week. But, uh, we're expecting, we were expecting, some, we know something was sent like four weeks ago, and it still hasn't arrived. So, uh, shipping is really stupid at the moment. Um, so, it could arrive on time, it could not ri arrive on time. We do not know. So, if it does, then it'll hit schedules uh, the next week. If it doesn't, one of the LEGO games will uh, take its place. And if not, uh, then I don't know what I'm doing. To do. <laughs> you get what I mean. It'll be a LEGO game or that game. Anyway, uh, Premiere Month. Uh, it's going to be awesome. So much is coming this year. It's going to be absolutely nuts. We have so much in the works. We will be working on so many projects. And I hope to s I hope you guys will uh, stay with us. It might be a little hard getting uh, back to three three day. Well, it might actually be pretty easy because I've been doing five, and that's been that I've been blowing it out of the water this entire summer. I've missed a couple weeks, but I've done good. Um, and we'll I guess we'll see this year how we do. We'll probably break records and. <laughs> With that, guys, there's not really much else we can talk about here, but, um, let us know what you think about, for one thing, just let us know, what do you guys think about the new, uh, uh, burial center and the new art style, the new thumbnail system that we are putting into place? I think it looks really nice, but I want to hear what you guys think. If you don't like it, we'll, we'll switch it pretty quickly. It'll be a little hard, but, uh, we could try. But, um, I think it looks nice. It stands out. Obviously, some series now will, well, in Datacraft, I want to have it be, have custom thumbnails for each episode, but that might be a little difficult. But, um, we'll see. With that, guys, this is it for the year-end, uh, wrap-up this year. Um, so, yeah. Goodbye.